Hi kids! How are you today? I hope you are doing great. Welcome to another day of learning opportunity. I am your teacher, Ma'am Sheila V. Belda. Today, we are going to study about making generalizations and summarizing various text types based on elements for English 5, Quarter 3, Week 4. This video contains information published by the Department of Education in line with MEL. We do not assert ownership on the material being used. Summarizing teaches students how to recognize the most important ideas in the text, how to ignore irrelevant information, and how to integrate the central ideas in a meaningful way. After going through this lesson, you are expected to make generalizations and summarize various text types based on elements. A generalization is a broad statement drawn from a group of facts about a topic. It must be supported by evidence that is logical and factual. Learning to make generalizations will help you develop conclusions and identify trends. In making generalizations, we may use the following guidelines. First, gather information. Next, identify relationship among facts. And third, make a generalization that states a relationship and it's consistent with most of the supporting facts. A clue word such as all, most, always, usually, or generally signals that an author is making generalization. Let us read the paragraph. Asthma's letter on Christmas is different in some ways. 1. It isn't a greeting card. 2. It is a letter addressed to Jesus Christ, who is not a common person, relative, friend or acquaintance. Jesus, for the Christians, is the son of Mary. And three, the letter is asking for some explanation of the untoward happenings here on planet Earth. Lastly, the letter will not be mailed but will be placed on the altar for the angels to carry to Jesus. Amazingly, Different three ways, the latter holds the greatest message of all time, the message of love and justice, of brotherhood and sisterhood. Now, which sentence states the generalization? How did you know? What examples, reasons, or facts are presented to validate the generalization? What words or phrases introduce them? Remember that generalizations are like big umbrellas. A summary restates only the main points of a text without giving examples or details such as dates, numbers, or statistics. When you summarize, you keep in mind the answers to the five WH questions and how questions. Texts are written for a variety of purposes using different forms and standards of composition. These forms of writing are known as text types. There are two main text types, factual and literary. Factual text types include factual description, recount, or persuasive. Literary text types include 
poetry, narrative, or personal response. One of its kinds is the narrative text. It is a type of literary text that tells a story. It presents theories of events which can either be fiction or non-fiction. The narrative may include picture books, cartoons, fantasy, adventure, science fiction, fairy tales, legends, fables, or plays. Non-fiction narratives include autobiography, biography, memoir, diary, and others. The basic elements of narrative include the theme, setting, characters, and plot. Theme refers to the author's message about life or human nature he or she tries to convey in the story. The setting answers the when and where the story happens and the characters are the people, animals, or things playing an important role for the event. The plot consists of the episodes happened from beginning, middle, and ending events. Now that you already know its elements, let us find out how are we going to summarize it if we come across with a very long text. Here are some ways on how you can summarize text. Text A Maya stood calmly by the door of the principal's office while waiting for his teacher. He looked further to check on his advisor if she would be coming because she was nowhere. After a few minutes, a spectacled man was inside. It was the school principal. Maria told the principal about the purpose of his visit. He made his statement clear why he brought his cell phone to school. He told the principal that his classmates shouted at him in their classroom, telling him that bringing cell phone was not allowed. He felt weak explaining his reason for doing it. He told the principal that it hurt him to have violated a school policy, but doing this made him feel secure to text or call up his sick mother at home. He told the principal that he was sorry for doing it, but it hurt him because his purpose was concerned of his sick mother. The principal patted the apologetic pupil on the shoulder and spoke kindly to him. Now, for text B, while waiting for his advisor to come, Mario visited the principal's office. His purpose was to explain why he had brought his cell phone in class. Earlier, his classmates noisily reminded him that bringing a cell phone in school was not allowed. Nevertheless, Marius told the principal that it hurt him to violate the school policy but he had to do it. Marius said that he felt secure to text or call his sick mother. The principal just patted the apologetic pupil and spoke to him kindly. So, how is text A or text A different from text B? Text B is the summary of text A, which is the original text. How are the two sets the same? Do they have the same idea and details? Likewise, you may also use a summary chart to organize your ideas like a story grammar. So, try to look at the story grammar presented. Now, another way to summarize or summarize a text is through scanning and skimming. Scanning is a technique of quick reading that helps you find specific details or relevant information. When you scan, 
you only find the keywords needed to answer the question. So, here are the tips on how you are going to do this. First, look for the key information. Second, look at each paragraph. Locate the topic sentence, the first one, and decide what the main point is. And third, list the key points and include only the main ideas of the text. Skimming is letting your eyes and mind skim over the text quickly as to note the most important point. What do you do when you skim? First, let your eyes travel down the page lightly but rapidly. Second, find the keywords that tell to who, what, when, where, why, and how. And third, keep in mind that the first sentence in a paragraph or the first paragraph of an article usually contains the important details that give the general idea. As you can, as you scan and scheme, you may underline, circle, or put any mark on the words or phrase which are to be remembered. You may write the summary in a complete sentence or two, just like in the example presented on the next slide. So, here's the example. The Moscow Circus was the biggest circus troupe ever visited the Philippines. The show officially opened at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It was held at Quezon City Big Dome. The 136-man Soviet group arrived on a big ship. The circus troupe featured world-class acts involving over 100 human performers, 10 lions, a team of clowns, a team of Cossack horses, the world's number one hula hoop artist, and Iriwa Bogrimova, the tiger tamer. The Moscow State Circus has been named after the famous clown, the legendary Karandash, who heads the group. So, Let's move on now to development activity. Development activity letter A directions. Read each sentence. Is it a generalization? Write yes or no on the following statement. Write the signal word. For development activity letter B, directions. Summarize in five to six sentences the fable, two cats and a monkey using the five WHS and how as guide questions. So for engagement activities, letter A, directions, read the text below and write a generalization of the details on your paper. Letter B, Directions, summarize its elements by completing the graphic organizer. And now for assimilation, we have letter A, Direction, read the paragraph, then provide a generalization. For assimilation letter B, summarize the text by skimming through the selection. Your answer should be in a complete sentence or two. Cover the main idea and use your own words. For the assessment, assessment letter A directions, read the text below and make a generalization. Choose the letter of your answer. And for letter B, directions, read the paragraph below, make a generalization on what they prefer to eat. And for letter C, directions, summarize the story.
So, for your reflection in your notebook, write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. So, that's all for now. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.